All right, so I'm just about to make myself a cup of coffee, and I thought as good a time as any to show you the coffee mug that I've been using for, well, actually all winter with just a few exceptions. This is the Keith TI3303 Double Wall Titanium Mug. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. Before I get started, I just want to thank Keith Titanium for sending out this version of their double wall titanium mug so that I could share it with you. Now, the reason I asked them to send this one out is, well, I had this one for quite a while. This is a smaller version of the same mug, and that was the thing. It was smaller. In fact, when I was making a wanted a good size cup of coffee, this one just it wasn't going to cut it. So I asked them to send this out. Now, originally, I had asked if they would send out one of these with a set of folding handles, butterfly handles on the side of it. And they had told me they were out of stock at that time if I wanted to wait, or they could send one of these out, which was the same size as the other one I was looking at. And I said, you know, I have enjoyed using these. I haven't felt the need for the butterfly handles. Sure, send this one out. So they did. So what is the difference? Well, basically it's the volume. That's about it. The small one is a 300 mil or 10.1 ounce volume inside. I'll show you the inside of it in a moment. Whereas this larger one is 450 milliliters, 15.2 ounces. So yeah, that's the whole difference between the two. And let me just show you the larger one. You can see it has a removable lid. It is double wall. You can see, well, it's actually got a little coffee drain in it from my earlier coffee today. And the lid is snug, not airtight, not waterproof. It's not like it's, it, it'll stop it, stop it from leaking, but it is snug enough that it stays on. You, well, actually you can, you can lift the mug up with it. I wouldn't count on it to protect your coffee should the whole thing dump out, but it, what it does do so nicely is one, keeps the coffee warm, and two, keeps all the stuff falling out of the trees and the bugs and things out of my coffee, and that's what I appreciate about it. I have not missed the fact that there are no butterfly handles on this. It doesn't get that hot, so really, it can get a little warm. If it's a little warm, it's probably the time of year when I appreciate that warmth around my hands, but really, it's, it doesn't get that hot, but I can't hold on to it. Nice, slim, and it works just fine. Now, my only hesitation Oh, and saying I'd find it again is this. I tried this when I got it and it won't do it. It's just short of fitting inside. Would have been nice could I had nested the smaller one inside of the bigger one. Now there's not a lot of need for me to do that but if I had some coming out with me uh, it would be nice to be able to nest the two of them together. But you know there is one that is again just a little bit bigger than this. Identical in design. If you really feel the need to nest two of these together then buy the slightly larger one uh, and then drop this one down inside of it. But again, this hasn't been a hassle. I don't usually take two mugs out with me. Now, I just want to point out that Keith has a wide range of mugs. That's one of the things they have probably more of than anything else. They had a water bottle, strangely enough. So this is uh, just one of their designs with the lid, but they do have ones with the travel sippy lid. They do have them with the fold out handle. So if this is not your style, I'm sure they have something that is your style. But for me, this is perfect. It really is. All right, that's enough talk. It's time for me to make some coffee. I'll put the specification in the links in the video description. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.